Alrighty, here it is. Not a, uh, well, if I could step up on that, I'd be all right. Not a crazy load, fairly decent. We're uh, still not selling any steel because the price is so low, so we're going to take us back to the shop. and I'm um, taking a video making us money, Badger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take all the brass and copper. Almost, oh, well, not everyone, but a lot of them have these big brass valves and little pieces of copper and stuff on it. So we'll go back and separate all that. Doesn't make sense to touch it twice, unload it, then load it, but price is too low. Right, Badger? What's that? I said the price is too low to just go get rid of it. Oh, yeah. We ain't, there, there ain't even $100 worth of stuff here. Yeah. No, I ain't going with it until I get my percentage. <laughs> and then miscellaneous small stuff. This little uh, hand truck is aluminum. So that is dirty aluminum. Gas tank, grill, the normal suspects. Only the heavy aluminum we keep it for now. I think that's heavy enough to count. Yes, it is. Okay. Go Sounds good. farm clean up someone had commented a while ago how long we've been here it's been a while luckily it's not a rush job just kind of when we can uh, get here so we got this and the uh, one, uh, an old pickup that we're gonna stack on top hopefully and we'll see what we can do we're gonna move a backhoe down the road today as well not too shabby badger Alrighty, here's what's left of a uh, Chevrolet pickup. Come in a little, pick it back up and come in. Come on it, just come in. Ho, ho, good. easy I don't know what size this one is this is an old tank might be 250 that one's 275 for sure alrighty Sunday fun day you probably just watched me or you're going to watch me load these two fuel tanks that I went and picked up one 275 and then this is a small 500 the 500s are normally round like a soda can or something but this one's smaller I think it's 250 not that that matters in any way shape or form but today uh, I don't have Facebook or anything the old lady does so she uh, posts stuff that I bring home but we got these eight lug Chevrolet GMC wheels uh, the tires are good they got a lot of tread on them they've held air for about the six month for the whole six months I've had them uh, they're weather checked real bad dry rotted whatever you want to call them I wouldn't trust them on the road or anything that I cared about but we're gonna let them go for 50 uh, two pluses here. I don't have to get rid of the tires and I don't have to cut three pluses I don't have to get rid of the tires I don't have to cut them off the rim and it's more than scrap price So contrary to what you guys think that I scrap everything here's a perfect example of it But on the flip side, I'm not going to save a tail light or a headlight or a mirror out of a junk car that I get and Put it on eBay because I just don't have the time to ever mail it go to the post office, get a box, whatever, what have you. So I've got two people on 
that are subscribed to me that I've promised items to that I'm going to send them and I still have the items. You two people know who you are. You're going to get it. I promise one day. No, uh, no, no doubt about it. So we're going to see if this guy shows up. Hopefully he's coming an hour away. He should be here shortly by now, but we'll see. Hopefully he does. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's always easy when they come to you. Nothing involved. Just rely on them to show up.